Hello creative people, welcome back to another brand new premiere pro tutorial by Mr. Rabbi. In this video, I am going to show you how to create Polaroid photo slideshow using Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So guys, we have a great tutorial for today, so let's get started and have some fun. Now click on the new item and select sequence. I am using the digital SLR 1080p presets at 30 frames per second. Now drag your image to the timeline. Adjust the size and position of your images. Now go to effects and search for Gaussian blur. And drag it on the image to apply. Use the blurriness around 80 and check repeat edge pixel. Otherwise, there will be some black shadow on the edge of your images. Now select the Gaussian blur and press Ctrl plus C to copy the attributes. Now select all the image layers and press Ctrl plus V to paste it. Then align it to the center and change the color into white. Now select the type tool and type your text here. I am using shopping script font but you are free to use your own. Align the text to the center and use your arrow key to move the text. Now close the window and drag the title one to the timeline and place it under the image layer. Now decrease the scale value to fit the image properly. Then go to effects and search for crop and apply it to the Hello? 
to unlink the audio. Then press the delete button to delete the audio. Now adjust the size and also change the rotation value. Then click on the watch icon to add keyframes. And move the keyframes to the left. Then go to the beginning and change the rotation and size. Then click on the motion and drag the Polaroid outside of the frame. Now go some second right and add keyframes. Then go about the ending position and change the rotation and the scale. Now drag the Polaroid outside of the frame. Now RAM preview it and you will see the animation. Now let's make it more cinematic. Now our animation is much better than before. Use the same steps to make other Polaroid photo slideshow. But make sure that you are not using same animation again and again. Otherwise your animation will become bored. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up to my video, also subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you, see you next time, till then, have some fun.